Hello again and welcome back to my kitchen. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a smoked mackerel potato salad. It's really quick and easy, uh, perfect for lunch or if you've got people coming over, it's wonderful for the summer. So let's get started. We're going to be making a potato salad, so I'm going to make a start um, by cutting up some new potatoes. I've got these lovely fresh waxy potatoes here. Now, I have a little cheat for cooking these. I like to cook them in the microwave. Uh, it's a lot quicker and you only need one bowl. So I'm just going to chop them up into chunks, just sort of roughly. So to my bowl, I'm just going to add a little bit of tap water. Just want a little bit in the bottom. You don't want to um, cover them. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt. You don't need too much. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of cling film just to seal it. And then I'm going to pop them in the microwave for eight minutes. Check them after eight minutes. They might need an extra minute or two, um, but usually that's about right for this amount of potatoes. I've just got some uh, water here that I've been boiling. So I'm just going to add some salt to that. And with my um, mackerel salad, I love to add boiled eggs. So we're going to pop these into the hot water and put them back on to boil for about six minutes. I'm looking for an egg that I can still cut, but they're soft in the middle. So we've got our potatoes in the microwave and our eggs on the hob. So I'm going to make a start on the creme fraiche filling with the mackerel. Add in about 200 grams of creme fraiche. I'm going to add to that lots of black pepper, lots of black pepper. And then I'm just going to take a horseradish sauce. You can use any one that you like. You can even leave it out if you prefer, but it does go absolutely lovely with the uh, mackerel. And then to that, I'm just going to add some spring onions. And I've got some chives growing in my garden at the moment, so I thought I'd add some of those as well. Absolutely gorgeous again this time of year. Just roughly chop them. Don't worry about it too much. You can see here, I've even got some um, chai flowers starting to come on my plant. Um, and those are edible as well, so don't get rid of them. They're absolutely lovely. You can put them in salads. I'm going to add a nice squeeze of lemon juice. It's quite a creamy topping, so the lemon really cuts through that. A bit more black pepper. Now, if you notice, I'm not adding any salt because we're going to be adding our smoked mackerel next. And um, smoked mackerel is actually very salty. So what I'll do is add it, taste it. If I need a bit of salt, I can add it, but obviously I can't take it away. So um, these smoked mackerel come just like this and they have a skin on the back that we're just going to remove. And then I like to flake these with my hands to make sure there's no bones. And we want fairly nice chunks to go into our filling. But we do want to keep a couple of the larger chunks to garnish the top of the salad as well. I'm just going to mix this up. Mmm. Get to taste. Mmm. A little bit more black pepper, but it's lovely. So my new potatoes are cooked. I'm just going to check them. Just be very careful when you remove the cling film because it will have formed a seal. You can burn your fingers. Now we want to put these new potatoes in when they're still warm. You can see there they're nicely cooked. So for the base of the salad, um, I've just got some mixed salad leaves here. And I just wanted to show you, this is actually how I keep my salad leaves and it prolongs the life. Um, so when I get a bag from the supermarket, I'll pick out any um, little bits that might be starting to go a bit soft or a bit wet. And then I put them into sort of like a porcelain dish like this. And then I just cover them with a damp um, kitchen roll and they'll probably last up to about a week that way. Um, it's the best way I've found of um, storing salad leaves. I've got watercress, spinach, I've got uh, mixed salad leaves, I've even got a bit of watercress I think and some pea shoots. You could use whatever salad you want. And then we're just going to dress the leaves and um, whenever you're making a salad it's important to um, season the leaves because it's such a big component of the meal. If you don't it um, can affect the seasoning of the whole dish. So I'm going to add just a teeny tiny bit of salt black pepper. It's a really simple dressing I'm making. Nice bit of lemon juice. 
And I'm also gonna add just a little bit of oil. I like to use British um, rapeseed oil, just a little bit. And then we're just gonna give it a really quick mix with our hands. I'm just gonna finish off the mackerel filling now by adding in my potatoes. And they're still nice and warm. So this is gonna be a nice warm potato salad on top of our salad leaves. You can see there, I didn't add too much water when I was cooking them. I'm gonna give this a nice mix. And this sort of loosens up the creme fraiche by warming it through as well. Beautiful. My eggs are boiled and I'm just gonna run them under the cold tap for a couple of minutes. Um, that will stop the cooking, so they should be um, cooked as I want and will also stop them going black around the yolk. I've got my eggs now, they're nice and cool, so I'm just gonna peel those, which is my least favorite job, I think, in the kitchen. I'm just gonna cut in to my egg, look, lovely. So they're not running everywhere, but they're nicely, softly boiled. I'm just gonna bring in my serving plate now. I did say it was a quick recipe. So I'm gonna put a nice mound of salad leaves. And then we're gonna to top that off with our lovely warm potato salad with all our mackerel. I'm gonna add on our eggs, which I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper to, just to bring out the flavor of the eggs. Just gonna add a little bit more to the top. I'm just gonna finish off our dish now with a little bit of our reserved mackerel flakes, just to add some of that um, color to the top. And then the last thing, I wanna garnish it with some more of these beautiful chives. I'm just gonna cut into those. Make them just a little bit bigger probably for the top. I'm gonna to grab some parsley. This is also from my garden. Now you don't have to put parsley on, you don't even have to put the chives on. I just think this time of year, we've got an abundance of fresh herbs um, and they just add to any dish that you add them to. So that's our smoked mackerel and potato salad finished. It took about 20 minutes. It's a really quick and easy dish. Um, I really hope you try it. If you do, I'd love to see the results. If you did enjoy this video, please leave me a thumbs up and you can also hit the subscribe button to see some of my other videos. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.